All right, you guys, girl, look at all this hair. My hair has been out for about four days, so it gets bigger. So anyway, y'all, seven. So Tiara has had Paul to come pick her up to pick her up to drive her into town because unfortunately her car isn't starting anymore again. So Tiara is quiet. Um, oh, honey, let me back up. They had embraced a little bit and Tiara was feeling a certain type of way. I need food, not Tiara, girl, Bronwyn slip. Mina was feeling a certain type of way. I need for Mina not to be catching feelings, honestly. Your husband is in a coma, you need to get it together, girl. So, Paul leads her to the car and they head out toward town towards town um she just needs for Paul you know she asked him you know she's like you know if it's okay I, there's just several places I need to stop by and he's like sure that's fine so they head out town is about 10 minutes away and Paul notices that Mina is unusually quiet and he looks over and he looks at her while he's driving and she's just looking outside of the window quiet and so that's when Paul you know kind of straightens up a little bit he's like you know what I understand that you're, you know, you're upset right now. But like I stated in my text, if you ever need someone or you never ever need anything. Also, if you don't want to talk about it, I totally understand. So Mina looks at him. The back of her head, she's wondering why did Quentin have Paul's name on a piece of paper? And so what was going on? Was it, was it even this Paul? Was it perhaps another Paul? But it was just too much of a coincidence. So... She finally decided to say something because Paul doesn't know the state, the status of Quentin. He just knows that he's really hurt. But because he's not quote unquote close family, he doesn't. He, first of all, he's not going to show up at the hospital because that's going to be too suspect. He doesn't want anyone to be suspicious, suspicious, especially with the detective walking around knowing that Quentin was was possibly looking into someone with his same name so Paul's gonna stay his ass away from the hospital so he's fishing for information from Mina at this point so Mina did decide to tell him a little bit but not a lot so she's like well you know what I thank you for your concern Paul and I, I do apologize I'm so quiet but I'm just trying to wrap my head around what has you know transpired over the last 24 hours so all I know at this point is that my husband was involved in a crash his car landed into a ravine and he has now been put into a medical induced coma now she does not tell Paul that everything looks okay and more than likely he could come out of the coma fine because she wants to get some more information to know what really has been going on with this man right so paul looks a little concerned and she could tell that you know he's like oh that sounds really bad so you know is he gonna make it mina kind of fibs on this she's like well they're not sure yet you know it's a 50 50 chance and i'm praying my big mama is praying but we just don't know that's when Paul is like, he's like, I'm so sorry, Mina. I'm so sorry to hear that. There, again, if there's anything I can do, please let me know. Paul is at this point feeling kind of guilty. He told that man that he just wanted him scared. He didn't want his baby brother, baby Q, possibly dead at this point and in a coma or a vegetative state or even worse, you know? So he quietly drives her to her first destination. It's just the post office. She has some items that she needed to pick up from her P.O. box. And so um, while she's in there, he gives the man that he called um, to do the quote unquote job, a call. He's like, Hey, I need for you to give me a call later on. Um, I got some latest news about my brother. I'm telling you, man, if my brother dies, you, we're going to have a problem. So he hangs up the phone real quick when Mina comes out of the post office. So he's like, okay, what, where to next? And so Mina needs for him to drop her off at her office. There's just a couple of things she needs to get up. But really what she wants to do is look up some of these names that was that she gotten from Detective Rodriguez. She wants to look up Roger, aka Georgia, and Tierra McDonald. Was that her name, y'all? Yeah, her last name is McDonald, Tierra McDonald. So that's what she wanted to look at real quick. Her grandmother doesn't have a laptop, so she wanted to use her work laptop real quick to do a quick search on Tierra McDonald out in Miami. So Paul drops her off, and so she looks over. She's like, you know, it may take me a few minutes, so if you want to, you know, drive by, get a grab of eat, or it'll probably take me about 15, 20 minutes. And so Paul looks at her suspiciously, and so he's like, no, it's okay. I'll just wait out here just let me know you know whenever you're ready so Mina looks at him she's like okay she go into her um 
she goes into the building and her co-worker looks at her and uh janice she comes around the corner she's like mina we weren't expecting you you know we heard what happened with quentin are you okay and so mina said yeah i'm okay thank you janice there's a couple of things i need to get off my off my laptop it won't take me long and so janice said well honey if there's anything you need from us you know your family to us just let let us know and so mina said i really appreciate it so mina gets down at her computer y'all and she starts to type in tiara mcdonald for my in miami she comes across several um uh matches about four or five matches so she quickly writes down the numbers for each of the contacts she finds through google search right um and she she sits there and stalls that's really what she was doing you know she sits there and stalls look at her cell phone just debate what was her next step she figures at this point she's going to be milking paul for information for whatever it takes if it takes her going on a date with him why not she needs to get down to the bottom why quentin was looking into this person again if it was him right so mina gets all her information and she jumps right into the car back into the car with paul and that's when he said okay where do you want to go to next and so that's when mina said you know what i'm feeling kind of hungry will you be okay with us going to go get something to eat and so paul is a little shocked by this and he's like yeah absolutely you know whatever it will take to make you get into a better mood i'm willing to do child i bet let me hop into this mystery girl this is a mystery drink they go to the local diner they went the first time they ate together or had lunch together and mina orders her chicken fried steak because baby with her husband in a coma she is not worried about gaining any pounds and um paul orders his dinner and so mina's um she starts talking she's like you know what um i'm always chatting about myself so why don't you tell me more i'm just really interested in knowing a little bit more about you you know and you know why did you decide to choose georgia of all places to buy a house so paul find that kind of odd that she wants to have you know a deeper conversation about him when she's typically chatting about herself either her child or work etc so that's when paul starts off the conversation he's like well you know i'm actually from here and she's like really he's like yeah you know my mom was born and raised out here and um this is before we moved out to la and so i don't remember much but the memories i had were fun memories and i just wanted to move back someplace that reminded me of my mom and that's when paul got kind of quiet and so he's like i actually um I buried her right before moving out here and that's when Mina got a little empathetic she's like oh my god Paul I'm so sorry so she reaches over to the table and grabs his hand and he kind of looks at her and he's like you know what thank you so much um yeah I, I buried my mom after years of dealing with kidney failure before coming out here so Mina's like oh my god I'm so sorry so anyway y'all um paul goes on to explain you know how he really um was always interested in moving back and he someone saw me talking because you could see through my window and my window is open anyway so you know they're having conversation so paul was like it was really nice spending the afternoon with you i just hate that it's ending so fast and so mina said well it doesn't have to what are you doing later on tonight you know maybe i can stop by paul is now a little suspicious so um paul ends up dropping mina off at her grandmother's and so mina cannot wait to go in and pick up the phone and call these numbers so she got to about the third uh contact on the list the third tiara and after that she's like this is it you know it was the first two are ratchets at ratchet as hell the third one acted like she was high so she figured she'll call the last two numbers tomorrow right so that's when she gets a call from detective Rod rodriguez just updating her on the case letting tiara know that they don't have any further leads but to please keep him keep him in mind um if she's suspicious now at this point tiara knew that she should tell the detective about paul but she wanted to do her own research before letting the detective know that she actually knew someone with the same name right so mina decides to um then let her grandmother know that she's taking you know medical leave she lets paul know that she's interested in meeting him at his place 
and he's like oh really um are you sure about that she's like yeah you know i just have a couple of um questions about you know the real estate property that i want to go over you go over with you and so like, oh, okay so you know give me a few minutes you know i can come pick you up she's like well actually i got a rental car so i can go ahead and just meet you there how does you know seven o'clock sounds and he's like okay fine you know if you want to we can have a drink down at the lounge um at the downstairs lounge, excuse me, in the lobby of the hotel before we go up to my room. And Mina was a little hesitant. She's like, okay, that, that will be fine. Child, Paul, you, Paul must have a backup Viagra or something. <laughs> Shit. Y'all shouldn't be drinking on these damn chit chat, not uh, these story times. So anyway, Mina dresses to death. Honey, she finds the nicest little mini dress that she can find. She puts on those spanks. <laughs> she put those spanks on. Her girls are looking nice. Does her makeup. Puts on a nice red sexy lip. She knows what she's doing, okay? She does not feel guilty either because she has a feeling that whatever's going on and whatever happened to her husband that Paul knows more than what he's letting on. So Mina goes up and she goes up to the bars and she sees Paul there and when Paul turns around he is shocked. He had normally Mina dresses very conservative. Remember, this is how she was when she met Quentin. She would dress conservative until Courtney's ratchet ass got her <laughs> got her out the bar that one night and she decided to do it up. So Paul is like, Mina, this is different. She's like, Yeah, you know, I figured why not? You know, you only lift once. He's like, Yeah, you're right. He's like, So what do you have it? She's like, I'm gonna go ahead and have a cosmopolitan. And his old ass gets a Cadillac. <laughs> Yeah, old people. <laughs> anyway, so they're enjoying the drink, and Mina's laughing, putting on flirtatious. About an hour into it, sorry y'all, it's blurry. About an hour into it, Paul invites her up to his hotel room. So she's like, "Yeah, okay." So they go up to the hotel room, and Paul has one of the nice presidential suites. And she's like, "Wow, this must run you a pretty penny." Um, I I know that these rooms are not cheap. He's like, "Well, actually, I know." Um. I know the general manager here, so I get a pretty good deal. Chai, he, lying. he don't know that damn general manager. You know, Paul is just scamming, pamming. So anyway, um, he's like, so would you like another, you know, drinker? And she's gonna go, no, I'm okay. I, I have to, I do have to drive. So that's when Paul gets a little bit closer to her. He's like, you know what, Mina? I know you're married, but ever since I laid eyes on you, I have been absolutely infatuated with you, if you don't mind me being frank. And Mina starts smiling. She's like, no. So that's when Paul goes in for the kill, girl. So Paul kind of leans in, and that's when he softly kisses Mina. And Mina leaned back and she put her, she presses her hand against his chest. And that's when he said, you know what, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I just couldn't. She's like, no, it's okay. You know, she's like, you know what, I think it's about time that I go ahead and go home. He's like, okay, I totally understand. So she goes downstairs, but she's thinking, you know, part of her is thinking I'm doing this to figure out what's going on, going on with my husband and this mysterious man. And another part of her is thinking I'm doing this because I kind of want to. All right, if, I, if I'm being honest, I kind of want to. I've been feeling Paul even before Quentin um, unfortunately had this accident. Child, they all messy as hell. Mina goes downstairs, right? She looks down and she's like, oh God, I need to call this other Tierra before, you know, it gets too late in Miami. You know, it's like a, a two or three hour difference. So she goes ahead and heads home. She looks at her cell phone. She dials the number, okay, that she has on a sheet of paper. It ring, ring, ring. And finally she hear after after four or five rings when she's about to hang up, finally she hears someone on the call say, um, hello? And she's like, hi, um, can I speak to um uh, Mrs. McDon Mrs. McDonald? She's like, it's Miss McDonald. She's like, well, yeah, um, can I speak to Miss McDonald? She's like, this is she. Mina could hear what sounded like a gang of kids in the background, and that's when she could hear Tierra yell, Y'all shut up, I can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> so Mina said, no, is this not a good time? I can call you at another time if it's better. She said, no, 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 who is this? 
Child Tierra, after five kids, Tierra's like, get to the point. So Mina said, she explains to her, she said, well, my name is Mina LaRue and, and I'm a real estate agent and I need to get more information on my client, Paul. And that's when Tierra said, Paul, what a blast from the past. She said, what, what exactly do you want to know? She's like, well, I have suspicions to believe that he was possibly involved in um, a, a situation that landed my husband in the hospital. And Tia was like, mm-hmm. She's like, well, I wanted to know if there's anything you could tell me about him that can help me to figure out what's going on or, and what this man is about. And that's when Tierra was like, well, honey, how much time do you have? And that's when Mina got a little nervous. All right, you guys.